Right. Uh, hey, folks, today we're going to be talking about a movement which is, in my opinion, better than face pulls. And I want to introduce you to this movement today and um, hopefully help you out. So firstly, thanks for making it onto my channel. If you have any questions or comments, pop them down below. And if you'd like to work with me on your own strength and physique goals, there's a link in the description. Now, uh, whenever I sit down to do these videos, I think about how can I best help you guys with your goals? And I, store, I saw Steve Shaw did a video um, yesterday on face pulls, and that got me thinking. Now, because there was a lot of back and forth in the comments, a lot of people agreeing with Steve saying that, yeah, face pulls are overblown. Other people saying, well, actually, they're just a finisher. And I thought to myself, I've been doing an exercise which is better than face pulls for years, and it's not one which people typically focus on. So I'd like to introduce that movement to you and talk to you about the benefits and why it's, I believe it's better. And, uh, why it helps to build up the upper back in a more efficient way. So firstly, um, I was actually doing the exercise today in the gym. That's what gave me the idea to do this video. And so I took some video footage to show you guys. So that is me today at the gym. And let's just have a look. So um, basically, you're sat on a cable row machine. I do this movement on a cable row machine. All right, so I get set up. Here I am. Now get set up and I'm in the position to pull just like I would if I was doing a cable row. So I'm at roughly 45 degrees from the seat. I'm holding the handle. It's a relatively wide grip handle with a neutral grip hand. And so what I do is rather than bend the arm, I just shrug back really strong. I retract my shoulder blades right the way back. And then protract them forward, retract them back. Okay. So that's the general idea of this movement is to have retraction followed by protraction and really hit all the muscles of the upper back without being limited by the arms. That's the magic of this movement. So if we go over to the next slide. Duh, duh, duh. Right. OK, so. Uh, so this movement is, um, well, it's what I, I call it, the, um, the Kelso Shrug. So back in the 80s, there was a man called Paul Kelso, who was the uh, head coach of the uh, Japanese powerlifting team. He wrote a bunch of books, and he was really good, you know, really good coach. Um, but he wrote one book called The Shrug Book. And in it, he had lots of different variations of shrugs, forward shrugs, backward shrugs, upward shrugs, downward shrugs, all kinds of shrugs, all basically centered around the shoulder girdle. The most famous one that he that seemed to catch on was this rearward shrug. And it was a shrug which allowed for retraction and protraction of the shoulder blades. Now, the advantage here, right, the advantage over the um, the the, upper, the, uh, the face ball is that you're not limited by the strength of the arms. That's the key. Because think about it, right? Can you deadlift more with straight arms or with bent arms? Right? You can deadlift more with straight arms. The muscles of the back, the upper back, all those big, powerful muscles there, they have way more strength potential than the pulling muscles of the arms. So you don't want to be limited by your arms and that you're always going to be limited by your arms when you're doing something like a face pull, um, even like rows and, and chins to a certain extent, you're going to be limited by your arms. The upper back shrug or the Kelso shrug allows you to build all those muscles of the upper back the mid scap, the rhomboids, the traps, you know, all all that whole area back there without the arms being the limited factor. It's genius. Like it works so well. And um, the nice thing about it is those upper back muscles, they can take an absolute beating. So you can do this muscle, this exercise with relatively high volume, very heavy weights. In fact, once you are used to doing this movement and your upper back is built up quite nicely, you'll be able to handle more on this exercise than you would do on the cable row or the bent over row or the dumbbell row. The strength potential for this exercise is massive. So let's just carry on with, with my presentation anyway and just tell you guys a little bit more about it. So what isn't this exercise? Now, it's not this. Like you see, people do lots of different variations of shrugs. But uh, like this one behind the back, so people do behind the back variations, in front of them variations. But essentially, whether you're doing it behind the back or in front, it's the same exercise. You're still only doing depression and elevation. It's 
gravity still goes down. So whether you have the bar in front of you or behind you, it makes no difference. It's the same exercise. So it makes no functional difference whatsoever because it's still only you're still only shrugging up and down. So that is not what I'm talking about. This <laughs> by this um, uh, professional of the industry, it's still just depression and elevation. Like no matter if he's holding it in his elbows or what, it's still just depression and elevation. It's still the same exercise. Why? Because gravity goes down. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same thing. So it doesn't matter if you're holding it in a crook of your arm, in front of your back or behind your back. All those sugar variations are the same. And that's not what I'm talking about. That is depression and elevation. It's not what I'm talking about here. And even this one, people uh, start doing one arm shrugs. I don't know why. Again, it's the same thing, depression and elevation. What I'm talking about is this. I'm talking about retraction and protraction. Okay, so retraction here on the left, pulling your shoulder blades right the way back, and then protraction, letting them go forward. All the muscles of the upper back contribute to the pull. It is such a good movement, guys. It, it, it really is. Like, give this a try. So in terms of how it benefits you, it benefits all of your pressing exercises. So whether that's your horizontal pressing, whether it's vertical pressing, by building up that base of pressing power, which is really, really important. Um, so a big upper back tends to lead to a big press. At least you won't be limited by the stability needed to press big weights. So it helps your pressing. It directly helps the front of your body by supporting the back of your body. Helps pulling, I mean, rows, um, chins, all that kind of stuff really helps with the final sort of few inches of the movement. Squatting, it helps as well. You know, anything which the bar is on your back because you've got a nice meaty set of traps back there. And if you look at it with squatting, particularly if you're doing low bar squats, you're resting the bar on the meat of your traps. Your traps. You're not resting it right on top of your neck. So that's what this area helps to build. I, I think these shrugs are more useful than traditional shrugs for building up the upper back, personally speaking. And also just generally posture. Like if you have issues with posture, try this for two or three weeks, doing it a couple of times a week, and it helps. Like it's a very, very good exercise. So in terms of how, how would I implement it, I would say go with about three or five sets, eight or eight to twelve. Do that a couple of times a week. You can't really overtrain this area. It's a very, very resilient area. It can take an absolute pounding. And it can be performed almost on any equipment. Like I personally favor a cable row setup. Like that's my favorite way of doing this exercise because it's just quick to set up. I just sit down, put the pin in, and off I go. But if you're a guy who trains at home, you can do it with a barbell. Just lean on an inclined bench, okay? Just lean your body on an inclined bench, have the barbell underneath, and then just shrug up, just like you would with a chest-supported row, or dumbbells work as well. So rather than, you know, Bend, bend your arms and pull your elbows back, which is a great movement, but this is not what we're doing here. What we're doing here is a shrug, and the ultimate poundage for a shrug will be far greater than what you can row. So you're always going to be, your upper back is always going to be limited by your arms. So just to emphasize that point again, that's why you want to do this as well as rowing movements. This on top of your rowing movements for more volume, potentially maybe doing them after your rowing movements for more volume, just to really drill in that upper back. So yeah, barbells, dumbbells, cable row is my preferred setup. But either way, you need something where you can brace yourself because you're going to be able to use some heavy weights eventually. All right, just to like sort of watch that again, um, this video here. So this is what we're looking for. Around about 45 degree and then shrugging the shoulders back, letting them move forward, shrugging them back, letting them move forward. Very simple to do. In fact, I will say this. I mean, some people have difficulty with this movement. They have difficulty having that level of control over the shoulder blades. I'm not one of them, but it does improve with practice. So some of you guys to try. You know, it's, um, it's a great movement. Uh, very easy to pick up. If you have difficulty with retraction and protraction, that probably means you need to work on it. So this will help you on that uh, on that as well. And yeah, you'll notice a big difference in your upper back. It's a very, very good exercise. Give it a go. And it's a bit of a nod towards some of the pioneers of the game, uh, Paul Kelso. So hopefully you guys find that uh, um, interesting and uh, something relevant for you to use in your own workout. So yeah, better than face pulls. <laughs> right.